Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio, so today we've got news about the McDonald's set, which is, well, I told you it was almost certainly going to include cards, I included it on my channel telling you that it was going to include cards, and now we have news that it is, in fact going to include cards. This has been posted over on Reddit by a McDonald's employee, apparently. And what we've got here is confirmation that Pokemon is going to be coming into Happy Meals from August the 9th to September the 26th. Now, my understanding is that this information is actually for the US and Canada. So these are going to be coming for the US and Canada on August the 9th. But I told you guys about this before, and not to put too fine a point on it, UK are getting it early. And I know that the UK are getting it earlier, and the reason I know that the UK are getting it earlier is because right now, in the UK, we have Paddington Happy Meals. And Paddington Happy Meals are running in McDonald's until the 2nd of August. The current scheduled end date in restaurants for the Paddington Happy Meal is the 2nd of August 2022. I'm not lying to you. And we can see on the website, though I did go and buy my children some Happy Meals at the weekend, just to check it was in person as well, can confirm it is, that it says, coming soon, Pokemon. And for those of you that are unaware, this is what they basically do, what McDonald's do to drum up interest in the next Happy Meal promotion. And given that I made a video on it last time, it's clearly working. What we've got here is the next Happy Meal promotion is Pokemon. And we knew this before. This isn't actually new. We know it's Paddington at the moment. We know Paddington is ending on the 2nd of August. We know that Pokemon is the next promotion. Put all that together and what do you get? Pokemon on, well, the 3rd of August. Wednesday the 3rd of August. Because if Paddington ends on the 2nd, then Pokemon starts on the 1st. So that all makes, oh sorry, the 3rd. And that all makes perfect sense, right? This is not new information. The fact that it's coming to the US and Canada on the 9th is pretty gosh darn important. And the fact that we've now got information about what it includes is awesome. So what we've got is six weeks, and on each week there are two different Happy Meal toys, so to speak. And what you get is a spinner, a coin, and four game cards. Now some of this is really easy. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm kind of ignoring the spinner. I don't care about the spinner, alright? The spinner has the same Pokemon as the coin. I, I, I don't care. We're not going to talk about the spinner. Sorry. What we have here is actual coins. And if you note, these are Pokemon TCG coins. Now, I do generally consider myself somewhat of an expert in the Pokemon trading card game. But I will be honest with you. I'm not an expert when it comes to coins. There are people that know a lot more than me. For instance, I can tell you I've seen that Victini coin many times. I've seen the Rowlet coin. I've seen the Gossifleur coin. I don't remember seeing that Smeargle coin. Now, I don't know whether that means a Smeargle coin is new or whether it's just one I don't remember seeing. The answer is I don't know. To me, it's new. But then again, I saw a camera up to one earlier that I'd never seen before, so I don't know. Point is, that some of these coins might be new, some of them I don't recognise, some of them I do. Although it is a smeagle that jumps out at me, but then again, I probably just don't remember it. But then you've got the cards. And the cards, there's a whole bunch of questions when it comes to the cards. Now, what we know for certain is, that every Happy Meal toy comes with a pack of four cards. We know that for a fact. And we know that they come in booster packs with Pikachu on the front. We can see it. We know that for a fact. And here's where it gets interesting. How many different cards are available? I don't know, is the honest answer. And the reason I don't know is because, well, we've not been told. I mean, in 2021, there were 25. That's one we've talked about before. But then in 2019, there were 12, and in 2018, there were 40. So, <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is one that we don't really have much of an answer to. What are we doing in terms of foil and non-foil? Now, it always used to be that McDonald's cards were foil. And they had their own, there was like a special like McDonald's foil. And it was awesome. And it was really unique. And I've got a couple of the McDonald's collections. And they're really awesome. But this was always done when you got a toy, like a plastic toy. And then you also got one card. And then that one card would end up being a foil card with the McDonald's foil on. Okay. The thing is, that's not what's happening here. These are clearly packs of four cards. And the closest analogue we have to packs of four cards is what they did last year with the 25th anniversary, where they did packs of four cards, where you would get three non-hollow and one hollow card in a pack. Now, I am not telling you that's what's happening here. I am, however, telling you that that is our best guess for what is happening here. Don't know for a fact, but I think it's a fair prediction. So that's what I'm expecting to happen here. I am expecting that we're going to be getting four card packs with one hollow, and every card is going to be available as both a regular card and as a hollow, just like we saw for the 25th anniversary. That makes the most sense to me, but we don't have any confirmation one way or the other as to what that's going to be. I wouldn't expect to have full packs of foils because I don't think that's the kind of thing they would do. That seems a little bit too expensive. But similarly, I wouldn't expect them to drop the foils because McDonald's have always done foil cards. That seems a little bit weird. Okay, good. And then we get the question of, are these going to be obviously McDonald's cards? And this is a question for me. Because let's take General Mills as an example. We had the General Mills promotion for the 25th anniversary. And that General Mills promotion actually ended up being rubbish. And the reason was, although you would get a four-card pack in the relevant packs of cereal, there was one exception. There was a family pack that had like a Galarian Ponytar. But generally speaking, those packs, you would get three junk commons that were exactly the same as ones you would pull from regular packs, were indistinguishable, and as soon as you opened the pack, they were just like any other Pokemon cards. They were not special. And then every pack would have the same Pikachu. And it was a cool Pikachu of a special holo pattern, don't get me wrong, but it was still every pack got you three bulk commons and this Pikachu. So opening multiple packs was pointless and it was only the Pikachu other than that random Ponyta that was special but Pokemon have never done that with McDonald's if we go back to it's a 2017 collection it's just the one I've got saved on my computer you'll notice they are numbered as McDonald's cards and they all have the McDonald's promo number they've all got the you know the, the hollow and the promo number if we look at the 25th anniversary collection, they're all stamped with the 25th anniversary stamp. So they've always had either the hollow or the hollow and a stamp or the hollow and a promo number, etc. There's always been ways to tell McDonald's cards apart, unlike the General Mills promotion. I would expect a similar thing here. I would expect the McDonald's promo number because they've always had the McDonald's promo number. Now, in terms of cards we can see, there is obviously a Pikachu there, but that Pikachu is a reprint. Now, obviously, it's hard to see from the image we've got, so correct me if you think I'm wrong about this, but that seems like it is very much the Evolving Skies Pikachu. So, it needs to have a promo number or a holo pattern or something to set it apart, because if it is literally just the Evolving Skies Pikachu, nobody cares. Because we can open packs of Evolving Skies and get the Evolving Skies Pikachu. We need a holo pattern or a promo number or something to actually show us that it is the McDonald's print of the Evolving Skies Pikachu. The one that makes me really happy here, and this is the one that I am extremely excited about. You spotted the Rowlet. That is very clearly, as far as I'm concerned at least, that is the Hyagonosuke Rowlet. 
And if you've been watching this channel for a little while now, you will know that I am a huge fan of the artist Tiger Nasuke who's drawn this card. And I want this. I want this bad. If this is some kind of special version of the Hyagana Suke Rowlet, I want this card bad. Uh, it's been printed a couple of times. It was in Shining Fates. It was first printed in Darkness of Blaze. It's just a phenomenal card with phenomenal artwork. It's actually quite a playable card as well. It does see play in actually good decks, which is kind of cool. Because of the whole bird keeper thing. But the point is, it's a very cool card. And then there's a couple of others which are, again, just commons. That's not the point. The point is, we're kind of on the edge of how cool this is right now. We know there are six weeks. We know there are 12 coins. But there are so many questions. Do you get a set pack per Happy Meal? I.e., there are 12 different coins. Are there 12 different packs of four cards, making 48 cards in total? So it's not random. There are two different packs week one, two different packs week two, etc. I don't think so. I think they would just be randomized packs, but that is potentially an option. How many cards are there? Are there hollow? Are they all available as hollow and non-hollow? Are they promo numbered? And the answer to all of these questions is, we don't know. We will find out over time, and when we know more, I will, of course, bring it to you. But that's the news we've got for now. That's the best I can tell you. As a side note, I should also tell you that as well as the toys, you can choose to have a book instead. There are a couple of Pokemon books they've shown you there. Let's be clear, we're choosing the, we're choosing the toys, right? I might actually get the books because those books are cool. My daughter's learning to read and these are kind of awesome. But I think toys first, books as a treat. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we know. That's what I can tell you. And I know there's a lot of questions. I'm sorry. This is the best information I've got for you now. When I've got more information, you know darn well. Well, I'll share it with you. That's what I do. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think about this. Tell me your hopes. Tell me your dreams. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and Pokemon cards and other cards and all kinds of fun things. And do please consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can join the Discord, chat Pokemon, share deck lists, get pretty much weekly bonus pods where I answer all your questions, talk about any topics you want me to talk about. It's really quite fun. And you can get shout outs like the lovely Danger Morales, who is a very lovely person, our newest patron as I record this video. Thanks for supporting Danger Morales. You are, as a former mentioned a lovely person but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio